Pakistan have endured a very torrid run for the past three to four months. World Cup 2023, they did not even make it to the knockout stages. After that, they toured Australia where they were hammered 3-0 and 17 consecutive matches they have lost. Now, in the start of 2024, they have, un they have lost the first T20I and the problems are only mounting for the Pakistanis. Now, in the World Cup, there were two major events that happened for Pakistan. One, the unprecedented security, the rescheduling of the matches that had happened because Pakistan were coming to India. And the India versus Pakistan encounter in Ahmedabad, which was touted as one of the marquee games in this tournament. Despite the fact that India versus Pakistan in the last decade or so when it comes to ODIs has been lopsided in favour of India. India won the match handsomely at the World Cup in, uh, in Ahmedabad against Pakistan to make it 8-0. But then, Mickey Arthur made some comments after the match. Like, this did not look like an ICC event. It looked like a BCCI organized event. There were a lot of abuse. There was a lot of chants. I mean, religious chants directed at the Pakistan players. Of course, if history, if people remember history, even when India used to go to Pakistan in hostile times, there would be religious chants directed at the Indian players also. But then he stated the DJ was not playing a particular kind of music. And that is the reason why Pakistan lost. Well, actually, if you look at it, he was entitled to his opinion. And now with Pakistan parting ways with three of their overseas uh, coaches, Mickey Arthur has opened up as to the key factors behind Pakistan's exit. There are two in fact. One was the tough match in Ahmedabad and the second, the outside noise. What did he say about Ahmedabad which is still holding true today? Because he labelled that match as the toughest match. Because against India at the Narendra Modi Stadium with over a lakh spectators in that, no Pakistan supporters in that, he stated. It was extremely tough not having any Pakistan support. Here, we never had that. And that was quite tough in a World Cup, particularly for the players. Because he stated, players, if they get some form of support, they then draw that energy from that motivation and then they ensure that they put on a great show. But here, there was not a single Pakistani supporter in the stands. Now, we all have to understand the broader ramifications of it. Mickey Adar may well have known about this. But remember, tensions, bilateral tensions between India and Pakistan have now reached at a level where visas cannot be issued. Even if it was issued, the chances of a lot of Pakistani fans, 2,000, 3,000 or maybe 10,000 of them coming to India was next to impossible because of the restrictions that are there in place. So it was anyway known that no Pakistani supporters would want to come to India. Say, stating that, that okay, we didn't get any kind of support is once again stating that fine, oh, we cannot uh, win because there is no uh, crowd motivation. That is the situation with him. It was a tough, hostile environment in Ahmedabad. But we were expecting this. Sure, if you were expecting this, then why on earth would you want to cite that as one of the reasons why we lost and was a tough encounter? You knew the situation that was going on in Ahmedabad. You knew what the India-Pakistan situation was. Then why would you want to cite that as a tough match? In fact, you are heading into the unknown. You are heading into the known, in fact, which doesn't make it tough. But we were expecting this, it ultimately does play a role in motivation when you can't see or hear that support base around you. So, okay, he is saddened by the fact that you cannot hear or feel that support base around you. But for Mickey Arthur's information, I would just like to point out, in the past, barring 2021, in uh, Dubai, whenever India and Pakistan have played in uh, overseas countries, 2017 and 2021 aside, Whenever you have played, you have lost. Neutral countries, there also there was a fair smattering of Pakistan supporters. Did they do well even there also? No. 2015, you lost. 2016, you lost. Okay, that was still in India. But at that time, tensions were not that high. 2019, you lost. 2022, you lost. That time, there was an equal smattering of India-Pakistan supporters. What do you do then? So, not having a support base around and saying that it was a tough environment, agreed, it was a hostile environment. Religious chants should not be allowed in any cricket stadium. 
but he knew the situation beforehand so was it tough for him well when it comes to a world cup when pakistan are facing 08 against india any kind of situation is tough but miki other did point out one major major thing that impacted pakistan's chances and it was the outside noise whenever pakistan lost there are a lot of fan bases there are a lot of people entities who want to drag the team down and he said that was the key factor he said you end up and i found this out the first time you are just constantly extinguishing those fires and chasing your tail outside noises are a major major problem in pakistan not just pakistan even in india there is too much outside noise there is too much of chaos to ensure that the indian team or the pakistan team can have stability it is fractured along personalities there is a rizwan personality there is a babar personality there is a virat personality there is a rohit personality along those personalities these fan bases want to claim legitimacy and whenever either of them fail the outside noise amplifies and because of that india and pakistan the dynamics are the same and miki adar is absolutely spot on when he stated that yes outside noises really hurt the team and yes it did hurt pakistan in what way where the pakistan team really were whether any rallies of support the outside noise also was not helped by the fact that in the middle of the tournament the pcb chief selector resigned along with that a lot of other churnings were happening in the pakistan cricket board so typical of pakistan to instill chaos and then ensure that okay after the storm settles you once again find a case of oh what if so miki arthur and the pakistan cricket team they had a very stormy tenure in india i mean let's make no mistake about it they were boosted by certain occasions of brilliance from fakhar zaman in the new zealand game then you had a great uh, outing against sri lanka but apart from that against australia against south africa yes the drs call did uh, go against you but that is what the drs call is for india you are humiliated australia you are humiliated south africa you came up short england you are humiliated so that is why if you look at it Pakistan now will have to wait for four more years and their horrendous world cup uh, campaigns continue in this last decade or so barring the semi final in 2011 every single time 2015 2019 2023 even prior to that 7 3 they have never managed to make it to the knockouts 15 was the quarter final but then you lost to australia there as well so miki yadav do you agree with whatever he said in amdabad do you agree with whatever he said about the hostility the hostile environment uh, during the india game in amdabad you can write to us in the comments below and thank you so much folks for joining us for this live we'll be back with more updates on sports today tap that bell icon so you know when we go live and don't forget we are on facebook twitter and instagram as well bye bye